Hi, welcome back to Colt GRC. So in here I've got the Emacs Tiny Hawk S. So for a long time I've said the Tiny Hawk is the best um, quad you can buy as a start of FPV drone to get you into the hobby. I always thought it was because it flies absolutely superbly. But now, this is what I'd recommend. The big beauty of this over uh, this one is of course the ability that this can now fly on 2S and of course it can fly outside. So this is the original Tiny Hawk, it's been out a long time, this has actually been out quite a bit as well, the Tiny Hawk S. You can only fly some 1S, it flies okay outside but you have to wait for a really calm day. This one you can fly a little bit of a breeze, so you can fly this better outside and have more fun with this. And of course, because it's got 2S, I'm not saying it's quick, it's got more power so it allows it to cut wind better. The other big difference on these, that comes with four blade props instead of three which come on the original and of course this one now comes with a 2S and a 1S LiPo. So you get the 1S LiPo in the box and you get the 2S. You also get a USB charger which will charge both. You get a screwdriver and some rubber bands, I'll show you them in a minute. And you get a spare set of props which is something you didn't get in the original. So let's put the original out of the way. i put all this out of the way. I want to concentrate on this. So this has got, this is smoother. I'd say this is smoother than the one than the original. The reason I'd say now buy this if you if you were wanting to get into this is because you can now fly both indoors and outdoors and for the price of this thing you're not going to get something that flies much better. I've got a review coming up on this soon. This is the Tiny Hawk Freestyle. I've had that a bit but it's never done the review and it flies really really well but this is the perfect beginner one. I wouldn't recommend this if you're a beginner. It's a nice Quad, well, don't get me wrong, but this is better for the beginner. So I've got this set. So I've actually got this on my x -Lite. So if you watch my channel all the time, you know that's quite a shock because I fly everything on the jumper. But I actually set this up because I haven't used this for a little bit. So I set it up for this. It's a fantastic radio, by the way. I'm not knocking this radio in any way, shape or form. I just I just like the jumper. Um, but I'm now used to flying with this, which I wasn't before. So, because of the size factor. So I've got this set up on four switches are set up on it which I'll show you in a second and you need to pair this to D8 mode. Well, let me show you how I've got mine set up because sometimes people tend to ask me in so that's what you want. You want it set up to D8 mode, I don't you see it on the screen and the other thing that you need to do is obviously bind it and the bind plug is difficult to show you, it's just under there. The easiest way is just to undo three of the screws that hold this little plate on with a screwdriver you get and just flick it anti-clockwise or clockwise and you can get to the bind button very easily. So the big advantage that I prefer it's a lot, so this come this come with the original one came with this plastic tray to hold your battery in place. This one comes with rubber bands. So I prefer the rubber bands to be honest, I much prefer the rubber bands because it means I can put whatever type of battery I like in here. It only comes with one battery, it, but it's up to you. You can obviously change the end of this and put an XT30 on if you want to just concentrate and just fly this totally on a 2S LiPo. So you could change that or change that over, which is probably something I will do because I don't really want to fly this indoor. I don't really see the point of having this flying indoors as well as this. So I have four switches set up on this. I'm just going to show you because people often ask this as well. Let's come back out of here. Okay, so here's my switches that I set up, and they're in mixer. So a simple way to do this is just go down, so I've got all, as you can see, channel 5, 6, 7, and 8. When I do the cutout in a minute to beat of light, you're going to see what they correspond to. So if I wanted to change up channel 9 to a switch, even though I haven't got any spare now, I'd simply click on that, hit this button here, and it will let me set that up as a switch. But I've got all these set up, oh, I'll just have to set it up to, the, to one of the wheels at the back. So I've set that up to S1, which is this one here. I simply click into that, and then I back out. And now I'd have that switch set up. So all these four switches are set up. So I have mine personally on arm, my mode switch, which I think I've got this set up to, uh, I think I've got it set up to angle horizon and acro trainer, because I've surely had set up to acro trainer because it is, to me this is a definite trainer quad. And then I have my beeper on here, and then I have flip over on crash. And that's how I set mine up. So the reason I set a beeper up, this is something small and easily easy to get lost. 
So I have this switch set up, so if I do lose this in the grass, it's going to do that. Now, but the other great thing about okay, so I'll have a quick look on Beta Flight. This is stock out of the box, I haven't adjusted very little here, you can see, I think I adjusted the OSD. I'm on this video, on this little clip, that's about inside. all I do adjust. Um, as fluids stock out of the box. The only thing you're going to see that's important is in a little bit is the profile. So the profiles are very, very important. Profile 1 is set up for flying it indoors mainly on a 1S battery. Profile 2 is for a 2S battery. As you see, it adjusts your throttle curves and your rates on the other side. All adjust when you do this. So it is important that you set these to the right rates to how you fly it. Like I said, this is the perfect quad for a beginner so this is why I'm showing you this little clip on beach flight this is how easy it is to do we're going to set the mode switches up as I showed you earlier in the video the four switches are set up on beat on um, the transmitter I'm going to show you them I've sure already showed you that and this is how it corresponds in here to auxiliary one two three and four so I've got auxiliary one on arm two on my mode switch um, three on my beeper and four flip over on crash and then the only other thing I'm going to do here is adjust the OSD to my way of like I don't change, I haven't changed much on it. I only like milliamp power drawn per cell and I also like cell voltage. That's about the only thing I ever set up on here. And I sometimes leave the craft name on, I sometimes don't bother. I leave the craft name on from a calling OSD because I put all my OSDs, all the on-screen recordings I do, I put together. So if I want to mix them back into the video, you can see what they look like through the goggles. So let's cut back to the video and talk more about the quad. Okay, so you've seen how I set it up. It's very easy to do, really easy out of the box. If you are looking to get into this, you're gonna, and you want one of these, you're gonna obviously need to transmit to come with it. I obviously love the jumper, but I do love this. I think it's just quite expensive, but you can buy cheaper things. If you just wanna get into this and you wanna get in really cheap, you can get the early model jumper, T6, T8 and stuff like that. But yeah, fantastic. They do the Tiny Hawk pack. Um, the original one came with, you could buy it with goggles and a transmitter. I don't know if you can do that. I've not seen it, to be honest. So. I absolutely love the thing, I fully recommend this. I have left a link down below in the description if you want to purchase one. This one was sent to me by Gearbest to review, but it has not obviously mapped to my view. It's Emax product, it was always going to be great to be honest. So, all that remains to do is let me show you some flight footage. So, all I've done is I've flown this outside. The weather in the UK is absolutely atrocious this winter. And it's not so much that it's freezing cold and we've got lots of snow, we've just got wind and rain all the time when you stop me flying, obviously. So, I've just flown this outside my house. You're going to get a general impression of how good the camera looks with the goggles because I've recorded the OS, I recorded from the OSD. So, you're going to see everything coming up from there on the DVR. And I've obviously recorded this with a head cam so you can see what it's like. A little footage of it in the air with the head cam just so you can see how smooth it looks in the air. Thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the video a bit that's coming up now. Have a fantastic day.